Hey everybody, Sean here, Boosted Miata. Today we're going to talk about crankcase ventilation. We're going to talk about the PCV valve system. We're going to talk about how to manage uh, oil blow-by that comes out of your valve cover under boosted conditions. All that good stuff. Let's do it. Come on. So crankcase ventilation is an interesting topic. It's maybe kind of low on the list of... Um, priorities when you're boosting your Miata, but it's something you do want to consider at some point. I think it's good to understand how the PCV valve system works and kind of the history of it and why we have it. So let's first talk about why we have a PCV valve system. Internal combustion engines will create blow-by, and blow-by is simply the vapors that blow by the piston during the compression process. So you'll notice on your piston here, you have rings. The rings seal the piston within the combustion chamber, but there's always blow by. Uh, some engines have a lot, some have very little. Older engines will have more. Even new engines have some kind of blow by. And simply put, blow by are the gases that are unburned that are pushed past the rings of the piston and into the crankcase. And what happens is these are unburned uh, vapors, a lot of hydrocarbons and nastiness that go into the crankcase and they have to be pushed out of the crankcase. And in the old days, the way that worked was generally your valve cover oil cap was vented underneath somewhere and vapors would come out that way. Also, they had uh, vapor tubes or draft tubes that would run off the valve cover or off the block and down into the engine bay and it would use the draft of just driving the car to help evacuate vapors out of the crankcase. And then it worked pretty good except the problem is um, there was a lot of nastiness in those vapors, unburnt, like I said, unburnt hydrocarbons. And when emissions came into play in the 60s, that was one of the first things they looked at was how do we control all these nasty vapors that come out of the engine that are unburnt. And that's where they came up with the uh, positive crankcase ventilation system or the PCV valve system that we currently have on most modern engines. And simply the way this works, here's your PCV valve that goes into your valve cover here. And it uses the vacuum created in the intake manifold to pull the vapors out of the crankcase through the valve cover into the combustion chamber and burnt uh, in the combustion process. And over on this side, you have your breather port. And usually the breather port is connected to your air filter system. Uh, usually it's a little tiny hose that connects into your air filter runner here or directly into the filter itself. And this is where uh, air is pulled into the crankcase. And of course the valve, the PCV valve is where the air is pulled out and burnt in the combustion process. So you can see when you're running boosted and you have positive pressure in your intake system, this valve is gonna be closed. So during that period of boost, you're building up crankcase uh, vapors and a lot of positive pressure in your crankcase. So what ends up happening is your breather port then becomes an exit port. So it's breathing, so it's breathing out in this case. and what you'll find, there will be oil coming out of this breather port. And to mitigate that, they may run this to a catch can. And that could solve that problem. But in general, uh, when you boost a Miata motor or many motors, and it's a DIY uh, setup, you eliminate this, um, this breather port coming from the air intake system. And generally, a lot of people will just put a little breather filter right on here. That's all fine and good, but the problem is, like I mentioned, when you're under boost, oil and vapors want to escape through the breather port. So you could really gunk up that filter and it can fill with oil and it can actually plug up your, your crankcase ventilation system in general. You want to consider how this breather port is going to work. So what I want to do is just kind of illustrate here how this might work in some situations. So let's just call this right here a catch can. Okay, so you're going to run a hose into the in of your catch can right here. All right, line that up. There you go. So now this breather port is actually going through a catch can. 
So what do you do with the other side of the catch can? Well, what you can do is you can put that breather filter that you might normally put right here. You can put that breather filter um, on the catch can itself. So now what's happening is you're still getting air brought in and it's pulling it into your breather port. But when you're under boost and this breather port wants to push vapors out and there may be oil involved in those vapors, it goes into the catch can, gets the oil gets trapped in the catch can and the air escapes through that filter. So it still works both ways. So you can see here, this was part of the system I was running on the boosted Miata. You can see this is the, the air filter, the breather filter that I had. And I ran a hose from the breather port here on the, on the valve cover uh, into the catch can. And this actually would capture a lot of oil, believe it or not. But this catch can is not very good. And I'm actually going to replace this catch can with a better system. So I'm actually going to replace this catch can with a better brand. This is a Mishimoto uh, catch can. It actually, instead of that previous can, which is really just an empty aluminum can, this one has oil baffling built into it. You can see here, this will help collect oil and allow vapors to push through. And the same here with this little element here. So these are better engineered to actually catch oil. Um, and so I will be upgrading to this system when I replace my valve cover. So another thing to consider when you're working on managing your crankcase ventilation and managing all the pressure within the crankcase and dealing with the oil blow by, uh, is you might want to consider actually recreating the stock air intake system. So the way this would work is now you have, let's say your turbo, right? So I'm going to crudely draw the turbo here. Okay. So this is the air intake of your turbo right here. And typically this is going to go to some kind of large filter element like so. Okay. So this is your air filter. This is your air intake tube, and this goes right into the intake of the compressor wheel of your turbo, which is right there, okay? So now, uh, one of the things you might wanna consider is to take advantage of the draft that's created within the air intake tube. So when this turbo is spinning up, air is rushing rapidly through that air intake tube, through the air filter, into the tube, and of course, into the compressor wheel of your turbo. What you might want to consider is still having your catch can here, run to your catch can, but instead of just having an open uh, filter here, now the other end is going to actually run into your air intake system. So what this could do potentially is allow that air intake system to create a draft while it's spinning high and boost and help remove vapors from the crankcase. So you, again, you get kind of a positive crankcase ventilation from the breather side, because remember your uh, PCV valve on this side is going to be completely closed off during boost. Is this a good idea? Many, many, many people will say no, because you're risking under boost of pushing oil out the breather through the catch can the catch can may or may not catch all the oil and it goes right into your air intake system and then goes into the turbo and it gumps up your turbo and that's just bad for your turbo. And if you do put a catch can in here and it is working well and you're paying attention and you run it for a little while, then check your air intake tube, see if there's any buildup of oil in here. And if it's running clean, then really this isn't a bad way to do it. And it's actually something I'm going to set up. And I'm going to test and see if I do catch any oil in that air intake system or if it runs clean. If it runs clean, great. Now, another way uh, this is done, there's the race car setup where because the vehicle is not being run on the street and there isn't really an emissions concern, the race car setup basically means you're going to run 
both these lines, you're going to eliminate the PCV valve entirely, and you're going to run both your breather and your PCV valve to a catch can that is vented to the atmosphere. It's got, uh, usually on top, it's got a filter element on top, and you're running a tube all the way from the breather side of the valve cover and then you're running a tube from the PCV valve and what a lot of racers will do in some street setups they'll actually pull out the PCV valve and they'll drill this out and they'll put an AN maybe an AN 10 or even an AN 12 fitting in there and same here so you have this big diameter tube that will help ventilate the crankcase. While it works, it's not ideal. Why? Because once you eliminate the, the PCV valve that is connected to your intake system and you're running all this to a vented to air catch can, there's nothing pulling vapors out of your system. So this may not actually be ideal for a street setup. So let's talk about how to mitigate the, all the oil that tends to get pushed out of valve covers. And there is a way to, to mitigate that. And let me show you that right now. So this is the underside of the valve cover. And the valve cover has some built-in baffling to help control oil being sent out with the air. And in particular, on the PCV valve side, um, under this cover, which I've already removed the screws, We'll take this cover off and you can see here there's some baffling. So what's happening here is the vapors in the crankcase are entering through this little baffling chamber. And the idea behind these little uh, walls is to help separate oil from the vapor. And as it comes over here and gets sucked out through the PCV system and into the intake, uh, hopefully you're not sucking in any oil with the vapors. But as you can see here, if you look, you can see how contaminated it is with oil. So what this shows you is you are pulling oil droplets with the vapors that are being pulled out through the PCV system. So it's a really good idea to run a catch can. So there is a way to mitigate the oil vapors being pulled out, and we'll talk about that in a second. And this is the breather side. This is the breather port is here. This is where the air comes in and gets sucked into the crankcase gets pulled down through here and this is where the vapors are eventually pulled out through the PCV valve. All that while under a vacuum. Okay, that's never going to happen when you're under boost because this will shut off. So when you're under boost, everything kind of goes back out the breather side. So it's a good idea to try to mitigate oil droplets on both the PCV valve side and on the breather side. Breather side when you're in boost, you want to mitigate that. And when you're under vacuum, not boost, you want to mitigate it on the PCV valve side. This is some stainless steel scrubber pad. And this media is stainless steel, so it will not rust. You can also get this in copper as well. And what you can do to aid in capturing the oil droplets is you can actually put some into these baffles here. This is far too much. I need to cut this down. You can put some in these baffles here to help capture some of the oil droplets so they don't get pushed out through your PCV valve. And you can also do the same on this side. Now, what you need to do, if you want to cut this in half, you can just use regular scissors for this. It's really thin. Now, what you got to be careful of when you cut it is you create a uh, these little tiny pieces of stainless steel scrubber and make sure that none of that is cut up and getting into the oil because you don't want that to drain back into your oil system. So you can take a thinner piece of this material, add it here, just like that. You don't want to make it too dense in here because if you do, uh, you're actually going to prevent the air from evacuating or the vapors from evacuating efficiently. So you just want to keep it kind of light and do the same right here. Just like that. Put it back together. So 
So that's it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and button all this up. I'm going to repaint my valve cover, put it back on the boosted Miata, and hopefully this will take care of some of my oil issues that I have um, and clean up kind of the oily mess that I have around the valve cover. I'll have a new valve cover gasket on there, and everything should be nice and tight and right. And I'll check in later in a different video and give you an update. But that's it for now, everybody. Thanks so much for checking out my videos. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.